you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Danielle what is up hello subscribe down below for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday it is Thursday afternoon I just got back from my classes for the day I'm feeling great I'm about to head to Vegas yeah I'm really freaking pumped I'm so excited one of my best friends from home Sophia is turning 21 or just turned 21 and we're all going to Vegas for it her parents um, are like doing this for her and she got to invite a couple of us and I'm just like so thankful that I get to be a part of it and I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to go and I have all of my work done and everything is just like in place like it really worked out that I was able to go this weekend and I'm like very thankful so I thought it'd be fun to do a little travel routine video for you guys once I'm done with the travel routine I'm gonna start my weekend in my life because I'm totally gonna vlog this weekend because I have to it's gonna be so much fun we're doing so many cool things but I thought it'd be really fun to do a travel routine because I was gonna do a pack with me but I low-key was packing yesterday while Gossip Girl while watching Gossip Girl and completely forgot so um I'm like not completely done packing though. I have to like put in the last few touches. But either way, I think I've done this once before like a couple years ago. I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along my travel day, like going to the airport, what I do, like where I park when I drive to the airport, just kind of like all the steps. I just thought it'd be something fun and I I don't know. I just thought it'd be really fun to do. So we're gonna do it. Um, right now, I when I travel, I try to stay very, very healthy when I know I'm going to be traveling. Because last weekend, I was in New Orleans. I've been traveling a lot lately. Um, so I really want to keep my immune system nice and good. I want my body to be healthy. I've been going to sleep at reasonable times every night and just, you know, being good to myself. So I've been drinking elderberry tea at night um, or really any time in the day. It's really good for your immune system. Drank like an emergency yesterday. And then I've been drinking green juice almost every day. I got a ton of juices from Journey Juice in Athens, Georgia, um, where I live. Um, they like make the juices in-house. It's all really good and fresh This is natural and cold process the greens and apples one. It has apples cucumber celery romaine kale spinach parsley and lemon They're absolutely incredible So I'm gonna be drinking this the next few hours before I head to the airport just cuz again want to stay nice and nice and healthy Chugging water very very important. So right now um, one thing I like to do when I travel um, Often as I like to get spray tans because I like to be tan and glowing and we're gonna be I know we're gonna be taking lots of photos So I'm going over to my girl Jess. She's golden sunless tan here in Athens If you're looking for someone to do your spray tans, she's absolutely incredible I love it because I go I know I have an appointment I don't have to like wait in a line at like the gym because the gym here literally I've waited in two hour lines for a spray tan before and that's just silly So I love going to her. She does a very natural spray tan and then I'm gonna come back, um, might grab some lunch on the way back, and then kind of put like, you know, the finishing touches in my suitcase, my toiletries, my shoes. There's a couple things I wait to do. Um, and I'll show you guys what I wear to the airport all the nine, the whole nine yards. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It might be kind of fun. Traveling's awesome. I'd love to do it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start drinking this. Just got my spray tan. I had her go a little bit darker this time because it's Vegas. Just pulled up to the gas station. Gonna get some gas because I have to drive from Athens to Atlanta um, for the airport and it's like an hour and a half, two hours. So probably safe to get some gas. So let's do that. Okay, I'm at Maypole right now. It's basically like a restaurant in Athens where you can pick your base, your vegetable, your meat. It's like pretty healthy and I have no groceries because I, I bought very minimal. I just bought like some fruits and veggies and stuff that would get me through um, the week because I knew I was traveling and I want some lunch. It's two o'clock, I need something to eat before I like travel because traveling and airport food is crazy. That was so quick. I was in and out in literally probably 45 seconds. Got brown rice as the base, green beans, chicken, and the mac and cheese because it's literally so dank. Now this is the ideal lunch right here. I'm using the last bit of my blueberries because I know they'll go bad by the time I'm back for the most part. These are like jumbo blueberries. They're so good. Drinking the last bit of my green juice. Gonna eat this. So I have this thing where I have to make my bed. I like try to clean up my room as much as possible before I leave for a vacation because there is nothing better than getting back after like a long weekend or whatever it may be to like a fresh and clean room because it really does change your mindset and then you want to unpack and you want to like have a relaxing night and like be clean instead of like oh I'm so tired from traveling and you just get in your bed and like you don't do anything for the rest of the night um I don't know I feel like it's just like a reward to yourself when you get back so that is what I'm gonna do right now we gonna make this bed
All right, so I opened my suitcase back up. In here, I've packed everything. I'm bringing a leather jacket and like a black fluffy one. I've got all my dresses because people apparently wear dresses when they go out in Vegas. Didn't know this. Um, bringing these like gladiator sandals just for like the daytime. Um, a belt. I have two um, crossbody purses in here. And then I have clothes. I have one spin outfit. I think we're going to work out. I have like daytime clothes, all the things. Um, I've done pack with me's before. And then I have Sophia's birthday gift here. Me and Caitlin got her a Polaroid with some film. So I'm going to wrap it up when we get there. So I just have my, my bag on top. As a joke, I was like, wait, are you guys bringing bathing suits? And they were like, yeah, definitely bring one. And I was like, ah, darn. So, but it might, like, they have, like, a hot tub and stuff. Could be, like, a fun little vibe. So I'm bringing this one bathing suit. And then I got a couple new things in the mail from Lulu's that I want to take. So it's just this, like, white long sleeve. I don't know. I'm just showing you guys. This cute green cami, I thought it'd be good for daytime with jeans. And then this black romper, so yeah. All right, here are the shoes I'm going to be bringing, minus the gold sandals. I have my tried and true black booties. Wow, they're actually so dirty, but they're just the comfiest and I can't not wear them at night, you can never tell. So I'm bringing these, they're from Bershka. Wearing these in the plane, my white Vince slip-ons. And then I feel like I'll be mad if I don't bring some sort of heel. Would these even go with anything that I'm bringing though? Yeah, they're nude. You really can't tell when they're on. They're like really, really cute. They're like strappy. They're like pretty comfortable. Yeah, they'll like kind of go with the things I'm bringing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to bring them just because I'll hate myself if I don't. Yeah, I'm going to pop these guys in now. These are like my staple pieces I wear every day. So I'm just going to put a couple of these in a bag. I'm going to bring my Jennifer Fisher hoops. My mid-size hoops too, maybe. I'm not sure. Sunglasses. I'm going to bring a couple... All right, just put all of my toiletries, travel stuff in here. You know, mini face wash, mini purple shampoo, makeup wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, skincare, the whole nine yards, and my makeup bag, and my hairbrush, and then I'm gonna grab my hot tools here in a second. But yeah, also, this is the suitcase I got for Christmas. I'm obsessed with it. It fits so much. It's stretchy. It's Swiss Army. My dad got it. It's originally like $800. He got it on sale for $260. So it's insane. I think he got it on like the Macy's website. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Here are the hot tools I'm bringing. Both from the same brand actually. Um, I always forget what this is called. Fabulous Pro, the straightener, and the curling iron. And I like to bring a travel shower cap. Alrighty, the suitcase is complete. I can now shut it. As for my carry-on, I use my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It is like one of the best investments I've ever made. I use it all the time. It's great for like so many things. Um, and one of them being travel. I love my Hydro Flask so much, but if I'm not using a backpack, I prefer not to travel with it just because it's uh, pretty big and bulky and just a lot. So I go a little bit less bulky and I use my Swell. I really want to get the Swell Straw Lid. I heard they have that. So I bring this. I'm going to fill that up with water. And I love it because airport water is so darn expensive and they have water fountains everywhere so you can fill it up. I have this little bag I always travel with. It just has a ton of like random essentials like the jet lag mask and eye mask. Some essential oils. Um, oh, and Advil. Forgot to do my Advil. So I like to bring Advil with me, but I don't want to like bring this whole bottle. So I have this like old Zyrtec bottle that I'll just like put, um, which I'll do off camera, but I'll put some in there and then I'll pop that in here. Got little earbuds. I would love to bring my headphones because I'm trying to find new spin music while I'm on the plane, but that's just a lot. However, I was charging. I was charging my AirPods here, and I need to bring a charger as well. So I pop these in here. I feel like everyone always forgets their phone charger, so I always try and remember it. Um, this just kind of like comes in there. Um, sunglasses we can pop in here. I like to wear big sunglasses when I travel. It's just, it's just who I am. I don't know. I'm bringing a neck pillow because this is like a four-hour flight. I'm in an aisle seat, and if I'm not in the window, I like to, like, bring a neck pillow because you can, like, lean on the window, kind of, but this is actually awesome. It's the only way I can maybe, maybe relax. I'm not really good at sleeping on the plane, but this is awesome. Gotta bring the keys, obviously. My computer and computer charger because I'll be editing this video at some point this weekend, and I also have to take a quiz for one of my classes um, while I'm away. I'm also bringing a couple elderberry tea bags to go. Taking these leftover blueberries, popping them in my carry-on bag. That's going to be such a great and like refreshing snack on the airplane. All right, here is a little travel OOTD. I wanted to wear looser pants because I did just get the spray tan. She does a great job of like 
it's already like coming in I'm like obsessed with it but she does a good job of like not making it sticky she puts a powder on after so it's nice these joggers are from Urban Outfitters I love them I love traveling them they're so light yet they keep me warm on the plane my bin slip-ons tank top not really sure where it's from probably like urban or free people and then obviously we're in the don't text hoodie because don't text is our gals on the go podcast merch link down below always it's like my favorite hoodie ever i get it in an xl all right we're all ready to go everything's good over here all my lights are off shut my door all right i guess we're ready to go all right, so I was totally having that mid-afternoon slump, and I didn't have coffee today yet. So I did a mobile order at Starbucks, just grabbed an iced coffee with soy milk, popped in ways where we're going. I park at like an off-site, um, an off-site parking. It's only seven dollars a day. It's a lot cheaper than like Ubering from Athens to. Atlanta, so I like to drive myself and that way I can listen to my own music. I listen to podcasts, whatever I get to call people I don't know I get a lot done in um, this a little bit of time and the people next to me are getting to their car and they're looking at me This is gonna be an hour 42 minutes. Let's get this drive started I'm gonna start with girls gotta eat podcast and then listen to more. All right, so I'm here I just parked I've got my suitcase and that shuttle over there is gonna pull around come pick me up He marks down where I'm parked and he takes me to the airport, and then when I come back on Sunday night, they give me a little ticket. It says H35. They bring me right back here. It's pretty great, and like I said, super cheap. Highly suggest doing. the birthday girl so exciting her parents set up this whole situation like how dope she's not 12 she is uh, 21 so freaking cute guys this view is insane oh are you will you do it really quick yeah I think you should guys when you turn the lights off like what <laughs> this is so cool guys oh, we're waiting on Caitlin and Maddie well Maddie's coming tomorrow Caitlin's coming tonight very very exciting that is the end of this travel routine. It was a great travel day. I'm feeling great, really excited to just have a great weekend and celebrate this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look out for a weekend vlog, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.